I'm going to show you how to derive every auto transformer relationship using circuit analysis. You will never have to memorize anything again, right? Um, we're going to start on the one on the left. So here's our common winding. Here's our series winding. Is this a step up or step down auto transformer? Who can answer in the chat? Is this step up or step down? Yeah, step up. How do we know? How do we know this is a step up? Oh, let's switch to blue. Here is blue. Yeah, how do we know this is a step up? Which side has more windings? Ooh, I got lost in the chat there for a second. Um, yeah, more coils on the secondary side, exactly how. Look, on the primary side, we have the common coil, right? On the secondary side, we have the series and common coil. There's more coils on the secondary side, right? That's true for a normal transformer too. So this is a step up. The voltage is increasing, right? If you look at a transformer formula, A equals N1 over N2 equals V primary over V secondary. Your voltage is going to be greater on the side that has more, more turns. All right, next, is this a boost or buck transformer? Boost or buck? Boost or buck? Yeah, boost. How do we know? What does boost mean? We're just boosting, boosting the voltage. Uh, really, boosting typically just means to slightly increase by a small amount. Boosting is always going to be step up. All right, how do we calculate the transformer ratio? What are the different ways we can calculate the transformer ratio? And I'm not sure what's going on with my chat, but it's not staying. It's not staying all the way down. I'm gonna wait till a message pops up, and I think I can. Uh, let's try. There we go. Okay, so perfect. Um, transformer ratio. Okay, we'll start with A. Right. Transformer ratio is defined by A. Right. What is A equal? A equals all N1 divided by N2. This is true for a regular transformer too. Next, let's use the winding relationships of our auto transformer. On the primary side on N1, how many turns do I have, right? Let's call this our common winding, right? It's common to both sides. So N1 is just going to be equal to NC. All right, on my secondary side, from V secondary plus all the way to V minus, let's call this N lowercase, uh, we'll call it SE series. So uh, yeah, SE is good, not just NS, right? We don't wanna make, it think, make you think it's secondary, excuse me. Okay, so on the secondary side, I've got N SE, our series number of turns, plus our common number of turns, right? So this is also gonna be equal to N SE, plus and C. Next, um, what about my voltage relationships, right? N1 to N2 means V primary divided by V secondary, all right? What about the current relationships? Here's how I remember this. When I'm comparing my turns, the voltages match, right? Primary turns, primary voltage, secondary turns, secondary voltage, but I just remember that the current is flip-flopped. So if I have my primary turns, my primary voltage, this is going to be my secondary current leaving my auto transformer right here. And if on the bottom I have my secondary number of turns, my secondary voltage, again, it's flip-flopped for current, this is going to be my primary current entering this transformer right here. See that? All right, what about the KCL relationship? And more importantly, how do I know what direction my common current is flowing in? It's going to be, look, they're different on each one. How do I remember that? Here's how I remember it. For, for a step-up transformer, right? We already defined this as a step-up transformer. If my voltage is greater from primary to secondary, is my current bigger or smaller? What's true for a transformer? Voltage goes up, current must go down. That means I secondary is smaller than I primary, right? I secondary is smaller than I primary. So we can write a KCL relationship right at this common node right here. If my common current was flowing into this node, then I secondary would equal the sum of I primary and I, and I common. But that would make I secondary bigger, right? 
since I secondary is smaller than I primary, right? Since this is a voltage step up, so our current goes down, that means the common current in the common winding has to flow down and away. See that? KCL says the current's entering equals the current leaving. How much current is entering this node? Just I primary, right? I primary goes in. So I have IP or I primary equals what current is leaving this node. I common is leaving, right? Because I secondary has to be smaller than I primary. So we've got I common is leaving and I secondary is leaving. If we rearrange this to solve for I secondary, notice how I secondary will be IP minus IC. In other words, this is a voltage step up transformer, which means the current is stepping down. I secondary is smaller than the primary current by a difference of the common current, right? See that? In other words, if I rewrite this for I secondary, it's gonna be I secondary equals IP minus IC. That's how you remember what direction is the common current flowing in. Don't worry if it's a little fuzzy right now, you'll get extra practice on this side. All right, calculate the power in the common and series winding. How do we do that? Again, um, first we're just gonna do the common winding. Let's look at the shared node and let's look at this node. If I wanna calculate the apparent power of something, right? Apparent power equals what? Magnitude V times magnitude I. These are all magnitudes, by the way. No phase shift is occurring here. So these are all magnitudes. So if I wanna know SC, the power of my common winding, what's the voltage across the common winding? Let's just call it VC, and then we'll expand on that. Let's call it VC, and let's call this IC. And I'm just gonna move this over to the left so we have space for these series winding. All right, we know what IC is, right? The current flowing through the common winding is the common current, IC. What is VC? What is VC for the step up transformer? What's the voltage across this common winding? It's the primary voltage. Yeah, you got it. So the apparent power in our common winding is V primary times our common current. So easy that is, it's just, uh, it's circuit analysis. All right, how do we find the power in the series winding? Let's zoom out just a little bit so we can see everything. Great. So here, now I want to find S series. We're just going to use a subscript V series and I series, and then we'll go from there. What's the voltage across my series winding from this point to this point in the middle? What's the voltage from here to here? It's gonna, here's V secondary, here's V primary. This voltage has to be V secondary minus V primary, right? Look, plus, plus V S E minus from here to here equals V secondary minus V primary. Everyone see that? Next, what's the current flowing through my series winding? From here to here is the same as from here to here, right? It's gonna be our secondary current. Easy, right? All right, what's the relationship between the common current or the common winding power, SC, and the series winding power, SSE? What's the relationship between these two? Who did the, who's uh, done my practice exam already? Yeah, they're equal. Good job, Mario. They're equal. And then don't forget that one formula in the reference handbook that we already talked about is, uh, is incorrect. I don't have it here tonight, uh, but make sure you, you seek it out in your reference handbook. All right, last, how do we calculate the power in and the power out of this step up auto transformer? So we're assuming this is, what kind of auto transformers are this? This is ideal, right? 
what is it what's the power relationships between power in equals power out for ideal in other words we'll call this s primary and s secondary or s in and s out if our efficiency is one is unity or 100 percent, then these two are equal yeah so looking at the primary side, what's my power in? Look, use the single phase parent power formula. It's gonna be my primary voltage times my primary current, right? V primary times I primary is equal to the primary power. So VP times IP. And I know I'm mixing up magnitude brackets uh, here and there. So these are all magnitude values. I'm just in the habit of using them with this formula. All right, the secondary power or the output power is going to be what? It's going to be V secondary times I secondary. So V secondary times I secondary. Be careful, don't uh, confuse subscript P. This is not phase, that's primary. And that's really it. That's just about every relationship you, uh, you would need to know. And from here, what if I don't know IP, but I know if I know my common current and my secondary current, can I find my primary current? Yeah, I sure can. Here's KCL, right? Just add them up to find IP, plug IP right in there. 